closet. That's my stuff, yes, if I bought it. Please don't touch. You got desires? I know, I know. You got desires? I know, I know. Hey guys, it's your girl Lika Bees and I'm back here with another vlog. Welcome if you are new here and welcome back boo if you're not. So um, today is Saturday and y'all know how I get down on the weekends. I actually do stuff other than work in the gym. Yay! So um, it's Saturday morning. It's currently 9.54. I'm currently late. I'm literally late to every single thing in my life. Like I do not understand how I'm always so late and I genuinely be trying. I've been up since like 8 o'clock in the morning. Why am I late to a 10 o'clock appointment? I don't know. Maybe because I try to do too much. I don't know. Maybe I'm Delulu. I don't know. But we're here. We're making it. We're going to get there. I'm currently headed to my laser hair removal appointment. I love laser hair removal. Let's talk about it briefly. This is my second session. First session results were amazing. I honestly lost about 70% of the hair. So it's like, wow, off just one session, my Brazilian area is phenomenal. And my armpits did pretty well as well. I did not even shave in between. I only shaved um, yesterday to come here today, but I didn't shave anymore in between. I didn't feel the need to. So um, if you're a person who gets like antsy over any little itty bitty bits of hair, I go to the gym a lot. So I don't like hair under my arms and stuff like that because I'm always in the gym and you know, I wanna dress. So that gives you an insight about the type of girl I am. And I feel like I didn't need to shave in between. So, you know, do with that information what you will. But to me, I think it's 110% worth it. And I'm mad I didn't do it sooner. So I'm headed to my second appointment for that this morning. That's the only like big thing on my agenda that needed to get crossed off. That was the number one thing today that Malika had to do. Um, and then I just have a bunch of other things to do. My homegirl's coming in town tomorrow. So I definitely want to organize my space and make sure that everything is good and tidied up because I'm gonna have company. Uh, even though they only gonna be here for the day, but you know, we probably gonna stop in my crib and like have to chill there for a minute or whatever, just in case. I just want everything to be neat, you know. My living room and kitchen is pretty much always clean, so I don't have to worry about that. But I've really been working on my bedroom, so it's like miscellaneous stuff around. Like, I don't even know how to explain that. It's just miscellaneous stuff for me, like unpacking boxes and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean that up and organize that up, and then we should be good. So that's on the agenda for today, y'all. After I get this appointment over with my late tail stuff, I really need a whooping. I really need a whooping. I did a little workout this morning. I just did a 12, 3.30 on a um, treadmill just because you're not really supposed to work out too heavy and open up your pores before your laser hair removal appointments. And um, I didn't have that much time either to do a full-blown workout. So I just did something quick, cleaned up, put on a skim set. Of course, that's all I wear and headed out the door. So, yeah, guys, that's where I'm at right now. Mentally, all over the place. It literally went from 0 to 100 so fast. I had to shoot a campaign this morning, so I think that's what threw me off. But I don't know why I thought I could do all of that. But when we get back home, I want to cook um, a high-protein breakfast and because I'm really maximizing my nutrition. Your girl has been eating good all week. I know tomorrow, because my friends are going to be here, I'll probably eat off a little bit. So that'll be my cheat day. Even though I don't consider this like a super strict diet, this is really a lifestyle for me. It's a lifestyle change more way more than it is a diet i want to sustain this lifestyle so um yeah i look good i feel great 
and yeah we're gonna get to it y'all let's let's focus on the road here and let's get to this appointment and i will catch back up with y'all Whenever they say something about us, you listen Well, fuck what they talking about on your timeline That's cutting off in my time Fuck what they talking about on your timeline Smile, baby, cause we're home with you. Don't even 
nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Yes, I'm hurt, yes, I'm dead Most of the things I don't wanna say I won't be around while you chase You'll try to come back when you fail I always want to do, but it's day You got something real, nothing You want to get with me, stop Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded Most of these things I don't want to say I won't be around while you chase The chauffeur today, huh? Yeah, you we in your city. At least I got the yeah, baddies in your city. One thing about it though, you come to my city, baby. I'm gonna treat you right. I don't know. <laughs> when I come to Atlanta, these people they not nice here. But I was well, raised this. We're gonna give you that southern hospitality. Yeah, baby, baby, I'm staying with you. I bet not <laughs> had to buy no hotel if I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? Like people be different. But for me, this just how I was raised. You come to my city, I'm gonna treat you right. You ain't gotta worry about no picking up from the airport, all that weepy weepy. I'm about to cuss her out. Damn, my bad. <laughs> respectfully. Yeah. I'm like, respectfully, what are you my doing? Bad, are bad. we not constant creators in the car? Do we not know what's going on? But, y'all, we just got to Let's Linux. Let's talk about that next. Like with the air Getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing. Had a nigga come on her Got me too excited. That's what she can do. My girl. These probably my favorite pair of shoes. That would be cute. I think what's McCauley got that. Um, we just got out of Linux. We gotta go. We gotta make one stop and then to the event. To the event. To the event. To the event. Oh yeah, we got time. We got time. Cut the air on, girl. It ain't even roll the window down. One minute it's hot. One minute I can't. Ca I take them back to Dallas. I can't cater to these. These high end folk. <laughs> Yes, we are finally here, guys. The venue looks so good. It was girls waiting outside. So we already know the vibes. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm trying to do a, like a a short content too, y'all. It's so hard. It's so hard out here. It's hard out here for a pimp to get both sides of content. Okay. The red, red carpet is giving. Okay. Don't play with us. Treat us like luxury. Yes. She really did. Look at this. Peek inside, peek inside. We are here. These are so cute.
wanna get with me, stop it. Now I'm gonna look for some words. I like this word blossoming. That's so cute. Blessings, the bleed, content, heavy on the content. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna get some words. I stay in the back, thinking on my head, fucking in the back. I stay with a bitch, smelling like a bitch, smelling like a fella. Seeing this money, man, I don't see none of you fellas. Drop a song, and these famous bitches love it. I'm a dog, they don't want for me in public. If I hit it, then it ain't worth no discussion. The reason that I see the cousin, all my bros collect, all my bros collect.
know, to have more in life. And for me to be where I'm at now, and I'm still striving, I'm still on my goals. When I see your vlogs and how transparent with your family, how you is, yes. and how you just sit there and support your sister. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you have to you support your sister, your nieces, your kids, things like that. So for me to have, you know, my daughter, my daughter's 18, and she's about to graduate high school. I didn't even tell her about your channel. She just found you. So just keep doing what you're doing and just know you have an emotional impact with me and everybody else. vlog we all walked out of there cameras up okay because the inspiration was real but no honestly the event was very very nice like got a great chance to connect with other like-minded women and just connect with other people in the city because i'm new here i don't know nothing i don't know nobody so it just was real cool to like step out of my comfort zone so thank you courtney for you know she sent me that and one thing about it you can ask me to do anything i don't care i'm gonna do it like i'm gonna do it. i'm gonna sign up for it right then and there like i'll be real down so i'm glad that she introduced me to that and we got here and it was such a nice event the food was a bust and me and carly was in the me and Carly was in there like, the ground, man, this was our cheat good. day. Do not come to us because this was our cheat day. We ain't had no real. I thought y'all said cheat meals. No, Gotta I said cheat day. Not I had multiple meals but, today. But our meals was portion control. That was we right. We had bites. <laughs> Niggas love trying to bites. justify <laughs> they bullshit. <laughs> We had bites, we had bites and we didn't have more than one or nothing. We just had one of everything, exactly. and I think that was discipline. All right, time. Yes. Okay. Lash is coming off. Yes. They need hurt. It was so far off. Oh, you want to pull up both? Look, then you go see. Come on, go ahead. Come on. <laughs> it didn't even. It was halfway <laughs> on nerves. Yes, the lashes is off, y'all. I can't do it. That's why I like my lash extensions, but I don't know nobody here who do them, and I don't trust these yeah, people. Girl, yeah, I mean, now that I met her, yes, and I know another girl who from Cleveland, but right, time to go. I yeah. like them. But the thing put about up, it is, you know, baby, put once, it on the flow. I will, but you okay. know, once people get to a new city, their prices double. I'm. <laughs> Not me. My girl, it won't be. Like, it won't be me. No, they be charging like one thirty, one fifty. Some gonna be two hundred dollars. I'm not paying two hundred dollars for lashes a month. Are you crazy? Well, every two weeks. Really? Okay, so. yeah. Welcome to Malika Car Talk. 
Today's subject is fuck niggas get money. No, I'm just playing. Not right, my she nigga. love her nigga. Not love my nigga. <laughs> love him down. Love okay. him down. I'm period. Love him down. I okay. love the Lord. That's my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. What you want me to do? For roll backwards down the hill or drive? Okay, to the right. Take it back. To the right, to the right. Oh. Everything you own in the box. Oh, she said left, baby. Mm -hmm. To the left, to the left. Sure Everything you own in the box. To the left, in the closet. That's my stuff. Yes, if I bought it, please don't touch. Now keep talking that mess. That's fine. But could you walk and talk at the same time? Yeah. That's my name. That's on that lease. So <laughs> call me call you a cab. Standing in, in the front yard, telling me how I'm such a fool. Talking about how you never find a man like you. Got me twisted. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. I can have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Baby yeah, I didn't there. know which chorus part was on. Yeah, y'all. Oh, I want to sing yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it's it. Usher. It's Usher. Usher. I thought that was the Prince, with the little John him. Yeah, he was in there. That's Usher, oh. isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I don't know the song. Yeah. I used to be, oh, y'all, I used to be so young listening to that bad, bad song. <laughs> y'all, yes. yes. my makeup is like, how the hell? I mean, y'all. I'm talking like this is my channel. But one of my goals of 2023 was to, y'all, y'all want to know how long I've been trying to learn how to do my makeup? For the longest. But this last time, I said, I'm going to learn how to do it. Y'all, it took me two tries, and I just know how to do it. I don't know how to do one face, but that's okay. <laughs> I know how to do that face. Period. I'm not really, I like a neutral face. I don't really like, I'll probably do a colored lip or something like that. But other than that, it's just neutral. But mm -hmm. I feel like as you get older, though, a lot of people Tory don't really do colors my ears. Oh, my everything is expensive. Here's the money. My cords on my wrists. Pandora. Coach. Bangles. My ISO IC is transparent. <laughs> Not transparent. Ooh, transparent ice. <laughs> ice me out, baby. Yeah, I'm like, we'll pick up your phone. Okay, y'all. Uh, we made it to FedEx. We are we are CEOs first and we have fun later, okay? That's literally what it's about. The grind don't stop. Even on off days. Even on our Sundays. Oh baby. We do the grind does not stop. I'm so out of breath. The wind just took me. Took the life out of me. But the, yes, we here. We gotta pick up our thank you cards so we can ship our orders out. Thank y'all for buying something and supporting us. Yeah, shop the brand at Nuri Fico. And don't forget. Um, yes, right, do the full nine yards. Give us the experience. Ooh, give us the experience. Yes. Thank you. We are so extra for this. Oh my god. Yes. So they do eats. Yes. Yeah, Thank like you. Those are so well. cute. Really. Thank you so much. Yes. And yes, you don't know, show yeah. the other side. Yeah. Yes. I know this, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Nerdy <laughs> Fit Co. Shop the brand. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. So I am back from the event. I took off my makeup, baby, because as soon as I came in, I've been wearing heels all day. We left out at 11 a.m. It is currently eight o'clock we got, i got home probably at about seven so i've been wearing heels from 11 to 7 that's an eight hour shift in heels i was tiptoeing in this house to get those shoes off but i just wanted to recap from the event with actual recap i know i told you a little bit earlier but we was goofing off and stuff like that but she gave us gifts guys this cute 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 journal this cute 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 journal is called five minute focus it is so cute it just has like little daily re uh, reflections in here that you can write so I love this. Definitely will be using this. I really want to get back into my journaling bag. I do here and there look at the prompts, but I never actually have sat down and written them. Two hand sanitizers. She gave us a poppy. And she also got these custom made to say our name. This is so cute. Like some people went ahead and put them on a vision board. I think I will put them on my vision board. But this is literally so cute. I literally love this. It says my, I love anything that says my name, to be honest. I actually just put it right here next to my flowers. And that looks cute too. But yeah, such a such a nice event. I learned so much. 
just about myself and how one I really do need to get out there more and put myself out there more sometimes I'm very timid to do that but it's like girl you got so much potential get out of your box get out of your shell and get out there I'm glad that I stepped out I'm glad that my friends gave me the push to do so it was such a nice event y'all literally such a nice event 10 out of 10 would recommend I love her as a content creator she's so genuine she's so sweet her impact is so real love the event 10 out of 10 Look in the food. The food was so good because this is my little cheat day, and I think that the food was really so good. I got to really enjoy the food on my cheat day, even though one of her two, one was fruit and one was salad. So we really didn't do that bad, and it was all very small portions. So me and Carly only had one small portion of each different option that she had, which is not overdo. We did not overdo it, I don't think. But we did drink a little, and it's dry January, but for obviously for special occasions, you gotta pop out, step out of your box a little bit for your special occasions. But yeah, y'all, it was just all in all, it was just a really good and fun event. Like, um, it was kind of learning, kind of opening to me. Like, do what you said you was gonna do, do what you put your mind to, and watch everything work out. So that's just kind of what it was for me. I really did appreciate it. I got a lot going through my head. Like my brain, I'm just so inspired. My brain is running like a train right now. It's so much stuff I want to sit down. I want to write down. I want to rethink. I want to redo. Because it's like sometimes I feel like I'm doing the things that I'm doing wrong. And I know that there's no right or wrong way. And that we have to go through trial and error. But it's like, what can I do to make what I'm doing better? I think about stuff like that every single day. And I think that event just inspired me to be better. One thing I forgot to show y'all. Also, these eye patches. And I needed some eye patches. I'm going to look into the brand because I want to get some eye patches for like every day. Because sometimes when I wake up, like, you see that little line? We got to get rid of that baby. I'm almost 24. I'm almost 24. I need that. Black don't crack unless you do crack. And I don't do crack. So let's get it. And um, I know we already showed y'all the thank you cards. But they are literally so cute. I'm just so excited. Like, this weekend poured into me very heavily. Like, yesterday, I had a lot of business calls that poured onto my spirit so heavily in realigning what I'm doing. I know that I'm in the right path. I know I'm doing what's for me. It's just about how to do it and how to get it. How to go up how do we go up so that's kind of what i'm working on it's just a lot going through my head i do, was working on editing the video that i wanted to get out today but i really don't even want to rush it i know that my mind is somewhere else so i'm going to try to edit and just write out some of my thoughts and just brain dump because i got a lot in my head a lot of ideas flowing so i just want to brain dump and work on what's on my heart right now and i know like as creatives i feel like we go through that and i want to plan my week for next week and then i'm trying to get this video out by tuesday or wednesday I want to try to create an upload schedule because uh, February starts on Thursday. So I definitely want to have a solid upload schedule by February because I tried to do one for January and I liked it, but I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll do Wednesdays and Sunday uploads right now. I think that's a good upload schedule, but sometimes I'll be excited and I be want to drop my video sooner. But I'm thinking right now we'll do Wednesdays and Sunday. I'm thinking right now we'll do Wednesday and Sunday. So, yeah, that's that's my goal. I'm about to just brain dump everything that's on my mind, kind of reset. I was cleaning up a little bit, tidying up. I don't know. I always clean up every day. Like, it's crazy. I would come in the house, be dead tired, and had the energy to still clean. So, I'm just about to do that and then sit down and just dump my brain. But this week, let's try to get into the gym more. I know that it's hard for y'all, but just try to show up for yourself. Like, literally, the best thing that you can do is show up for yourself. Yes, it's the last week of this challenge. Then we roll into the next one. We rolling right into it. So February 4th, the next one starts. And I turned off my heat. I don't want to turn it back on because, baby, that power bill been high lately. Ha ha. My last power bill was through the roof. And I'm trying to lower that power bill a little bit. And it's cold. It's only 69 degrees in my apartment, but it feels so much colder for whatever reason. I'm really, like, chilly. So I've just been layering up because it's only, like, 69 degrees is not cold. To be in an apartment it's 42 degrees outside and the rest of the week is supposed to be around 50 55 and stuff like that so i don't really want to have to turn on my heat again so maybe next week it's supposed to be 40 46 i'm gonna turn on my heat the temperature dropped to the 40 i feel like that's when i need to turn on my heat because it'd be cold but i'm trying not to turn on my heat it's so cold in here though i'm really struggling but i'm trying to make it but i'm on my laptop right now my laptop is like literally right in front of y'all and I've just been doing a little, like, planning and everything. I have some content planners. And I just, with February being around the corner, I really just want to get in my bag and get on it. Like, get to this content. I have some new ideas for short-form content and how I want to proceed with that. So, I've been thinking about that. I'm also about to do my, go ahead and do my daily um, planner for the, the upcoming week. So, I want to make sure that I have my goals planned out for the week. Um, what you looking for? Is this the right one? I think it is. Press play. So yeah, doing my daily planning for the week, 
or yeah, doing my weekly planning. Sorry, not daily. Weekly planning for the week and just getting prepared for next week since it's Sunday and I'm finally just not doing everything else on Sunday. Y'all, I have not meal prepped nothing. I actually have nothing prepared to eat next week because this Sunday did not go how my normal Sundays go. And, um, yeah, we'll figure that out. That's the tomorrow issue. I'll be okay for tomorrow because I have, um, fortunately, I have, like, fast meals. I always keep a lean cuisine around for a rainy day. I also keep high protein chicken nuggets in there and stuff like that so i got stuff to eat don't get me wrong and i got greek yogurt for breakfast so i have stuff to eat and oatmeal as well for breakfast but i don't have anything cooked and planned to eat so i need to definitely cook tomorrow i told y'all i got these newer lights so i just want to go ahead and open them to open them and see well try to open them the devil it ain't it's this uh kind of oh there you go and see you know start setting them up because i really do want to pour into my content both long form and short form Give y'all better quality, okay? I'm always upgrading, <laughs> always, because I'm so passionate about this and I want the best for my content. So these are the newer Lavalier mics. Um, I talked about them, but I just want to unbox them. So they come in this little thing, case, I guess you would call it, case here. They come in this little case and um, it comes with two, okay, this is a charging case, oh, period. It comes with two mics and this connects to your something. It has an in and an out. So let's see where the cords are. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. I got a little bag. Okay, you know, this is this is giving quality. It's giving an experience right now. An experience right now. And it also got these little little fur things that go on top of the mic. Noise canceling. I'm about to put that on there. I like this experience that I'm getting right now. It's actually giving. I'm about to go ahead and put this. Uh, how do I put this on? I don't want to go right here. Right on top of the mic. They got this on. This is a content creator setup. I want to start recording like and talking while I'm in the gym. I do have mics for gym, but they're not really that good quality. So it's ooh, it's time to upgrade. Like it's literally time to upgrade and really get in my bag. I'm not playing with this. You gotta. It takes money to make money. That's what they say. I ain't never seen nobody who said it be failing. So maybe they talking something right. I know a lot of people do a lot of talking, but maybe they saying something right. Okay. Oh, you got to twist it in there. So, I think it's in there tight now. So, our little fur ball is on here. It looks like it's charged. And then we have, ooh, this is a camera cable. What cable is this for? This one say camera cable. This one says type C cable. And this one don't say nothing at all. So, let's do the type C because I think my phone is a USB C. Oh, nope, that's too big. Oh, this is a new phone, iPhone 15. Let's see if this one is the one I need for this phone. No, oh, that's too big too. Baby, I'm confused. I just got confused. So this don't connect to my phone. They might do wireless or Bluetooth as well. It's over Wi-Fi. But I can see that it's picking up sound right now. This is so cool. Let me see. Newer Pro wireless lavender microphone system case. It's Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth, but not Bluetooth from my phone. Recording, blah, 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 in progress. They show you all of that pairing. So you, you can Bluetooth them. So you definitely can Bluetooth it to your devices. You can also use it with the smartphone. Type C for on your phone. It also comes with these. Okay, got it, gotcha. So, got it. Okay, so it goes like this. And here, and then you want to put it in your smartphone. Here, so it sits like that. And then... I'll use this one, I assume. Is it on? Mic testing one, two, one, two. So it's definitely on. It says the accessory is plugged in. Let's see if it works. Hello, this is Malika using a new microphone. Let's see if this is working. Mic test one, two, one, two. And then we're gonna we're gonna take it out of my phone and let's see if it works. Hello, this is Malika without the new microphone. Mic test one, two, one, two. So let's see if that works. A new microphone. Let's see if this is working. Mic test one, two, one, two. A new microphone. Let's see if this is working. Mic test one. Two. That's a little different. Let's try. Hello, this is Malika with out the new microphone. Mic test one two one two. A new microphone. Let's see if this is working. Mic test one two one two. Okay, it might be something. Let's try it again. I'll try it one more time. Hello, is it me that you're looking for? Is it me that you're looking for? Let's see how far we can walk away. Let's like pin it to our clothes and see if we can walk away. It's me doing this mic testing for me. Okay, we're gonna walk over here. Oh my gosh, are you still picking up the sound? If I were to be doing a squat, 
this is how you do a back squat. You're going to hold your leg feet length, shoulder length apart, and you are going to plant your feet into the ground, drive through your heels, and bend your knees, and you come up, squeeze at the top, do not lock out your knees, bend your knees and go down again, come up, squeeze at the top. I hope this might pick that up. Because if this does this, that would be so wonderful for me. I would really love that for me. So let's see if it works. Oh my God. Here we go. That you're looking for. It has a little delay. It started when the video for? Let's see how far I noticed that in both quick. videos. Let's like pin this to our clothes. Let's see if it's more quick. It's me doing this mic testing for me. Yeah. Okay. We're going to walk over here. Oh my gosh. Are you still picking up the sound? If I were to be doing a squat. So this is how you Pretty do good. a back squat. You're going to hold your legs, feet length, shoulder length apart, and you are going to plant your feet into the ground, drive through your heels, and bend your knees, and you come up, squeeze at the top, do not lock out your knees, bend your knees and go down again, come up, squeeze at the top. I hope this might pick that up, because if this does this, that would be so wonderful for me. I would really love that for me. So let's see if it works. Okay. So, with that being said, I really like the quality of this mic. It actually does a really good job. So, great, 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 great. I love when things work as they should work. Now, the only thing is you do have to untwist your little fluffy cap. So, you just got to make sure that you essentially have your bag of goodies. You're filming with this because you're going to need it. But they do have the piece that goes on your phone. Take this out. They do have a space for that piece to go in the case with it. So only the fluffies. Oh, maybe I'll take it the wrong way. Yeah. Keep the piece towards the inside. Only the fluffies can go, you know, without it. But all in all, seems like a very good purchase. Seems like it's going to upgrade my content. I'm going to work on using it with a camera as well. But I am looking to do... First, I'm looking to do short film content. So that looks like a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Granted, you don't need that. You don't need it at all. Go to Amazon, get your cheaper one. This is on sale. I just dropped my phone. If you're going to buy into the quality, buy it on sale, right? So if I'm not new in the back of my head, it was on my list to buy. So when it went on sale, when I say sale, it's on sale for like almost 50% off. It was like, yeah, go ahead and grab that while you can. Go ahead and do that. So, let me get to planning. I'm about to get into my zen. Have, watch a YouTube video or play some music or something. So, I'm not going to sit in here in silence. That's boring. I'm kind of cold and I want to get on the couch. Actually, I'm about to get on the couch. I can do that. I'm starting to get a little fatigued, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my planning for tonight. I was able to plan out my whole next week, so I have everything labeled out for what I want to do on each day. I don't really have the end of the week that solidified just yet, but I have it solidified to a certain extent. Tomorrow, I know that I want to get back into my Bible reading. I knew this weekend would throw me off because I just had a lot of stuff to do, and I try not to read my Bible when I'm fatigued. I want to be intentional about reading my Bible. So I try to do that when I'm actually in good spirits to do it. Because if you just do it just to do it, I don't like to play with the word like that. It's just not what I want to do. And I actually was listening to True List. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Or Alyssa, I think I believe that's her name. She has a YouTube channel and an Instagram as well. And I'm actually in her broadcast channel on Instagram for reading the Bible. Because the girlies are trying to read the Bible 2024. And she was saying how she missed the day. And she was just very transparent about how missing a day you know, kind of made her feel upset about it. And she basically said that, you know, I'm not reading the Bible to as a race. Like, I'm not reading the Bible to finish the Bible. 
by the end of 2024. I'm reading the Bible to grow closer to God and read the Bible to, you know, understand and learn and connect with God. So I completely took that perspective as what I needed it to be because this is not a race. I don't have to have the end of the Bible finished by 2024. Yes, it's a goal to read it front and back this year. But I also want to be very intentional about what I'm reading. I want to genuinely connect with God. And if that means taking a day break or taking a few days break, that's okay. I pray every day. I do other things to still spend time with God, but it's not always sitting down. And I like to read my Bible book. Like, I could open up my phone and read the Bible every day, yes. And I read a scripture every day. Me and my family group chat, we, we send scriptures every day. Yes, I could do that, but I want to sit down in a word, highlight it. I want to study the Bible. And that is something that I can't do every single day because I'm not always in the headspace to do it. It's not that I can't do it. It's that I don't always have the time to be intentional about it. So I want to be intentional about it. And I want to make time for that. So I am allowing myself to wake up at 7 a.m. I did try that this week. And not to say I failed. I definitely woke up earlier. But it's very hard for me to go to sleep sometimes. And because I struggle with sleeping at night, it's harder for me to wake up in the morning. But today I'm tired and it's early and I haven't had any caffeine or anything like that today at all. So I should be able to go to sleep tonight, fingers crossed, because last night I did not go to sleep. Um, and I just want to go to sleep so I can wake up early, I can get in my Bible, and I can do the things I need to do and still be on time for work. And then tomorrow, because I'm doing my fitness challenge, I had to call for that tonight as well. I think I put some footage of that in here. I would like to check on one of my challenges, challenger, because she said she wanted to get up at 7 a.m. and work out, and she's in a different time zone than me. So her my 7 a.m. is her 6 a.m., and that's when she said she wanted to be waking up. So I want to reach out to her and make sure that she's on her goal so I can be her accountability partner. And little does she know she's my accountability partner, too, in a different way. So, yeah, those are my morning checklist to-do list. And then just for my day, I just want to make sure I hit the gym. If I can do my side hustle tomorrow, that would be great because... I got goals and I got visions and dreams that need funding, okay? It's just what it is. It just needs funding. And, you know, sometimes the 9 to 5 doesn't always cut it. And it's okay. Um, and I also want to edit. I had a video that was supposed to go out today, actually, but I'm not done editing it. And honestly, I wasn't in the mood to edit today. That's the full out truth. I wasn't in the mood to keep editing tonight. So I was like, you know what? Let me be intentional about it, of course. My intentionality is the goal. And let me do what's on my heart and what's on my mind because I really want to plan and I really want to work on some concept, concept ideas for content, which I'm go, about to do for my bed. I can do that on my phone. And that's what I really wanted to do. That's what my heart was set on today and just dumping my visions and my goals. So that's what I did. So tomorrow I'm going to pick back up with editing and I'm actually going to go for a new upload schedule. So I don't even think I want to, I was going to edit that video and get it uploaded tomorrow, but I think that going into February, I want to solidify upload schedule. I want to solidify my branding and I just want to solidify everything like that. So I'm going to probably go ahead and get that video scheduled out for Wednesday and make my upload days Wednesday and Sunday. But right now I want to upload twice a week and I think those are two good days because it allows me the weekend and the beginning of the week. Like I'm most productive Monday through Wednesday and I can also make time to get work done on the weekend if I fall behind. So making Monday, I can usually get a video out Monday through Wednesday and then I can definitely turn around and push another one out for the weekend. Or even if I do edit it Monday through Wednesday as well, then I can rest on the weekend or get content, film content on the weekend. So those are my thoughts, my plans, my visions, my goals. I feel like I've been sitting here talking for a long time. I'm so sorry. That is all for tonight. Um, that is all for this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I had a great time. Life is great. Um, I definitely got out more. You know, I'm really a homebody since I've been in Atlanta. So it was great for me to get out and connect. So excited for this journey. So excited to see where things take me. Um, it's just been it's just been great. Life has been great. And I really love that for me. So I hope you guys are enjoying, you know, watching me grow as a person, a woman, a creator, everything. So, yeah. I just wanted to tell you guys that I just wanted to share, you know, my life with you, of course. Um, and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for more videos. We're posting vlogs constantly. And I also throw in a mix of other videos just in case you like fitness or mental awareness and stuff like that as well girl talk stay tuned love you guys bye you got desires i know i know you got desires i know i know